Welcome back to Mystery in Hollywood, where the glitz and glam meet the unknown. Today we are deep diving into the shadows of Tinseltown and unraveling a story that has intrigued and mystified us for decades. We're talking about the mysterious and tragic end of Thelma Todd, the luminous ice cream blonde whose light shone brightly in the 1920s and 30s. Known for her dazzling wit and captivating beauty, Todd stole the show in iconic films alongside the Marx Brothers such as Horse Feathers and monkey business, leaving a lasting legacy in comedy. Yet her untimely death remains one of Hollywood's most chilling mysteries. So buckle up as we explore the life, the legend, and the mysterious demise of Thelma Todd. Thelma Todd's tragic end ignited a firestorm of speculation, casting shadows of doubt over whether her death was a heartbreaking taking of her own life or a sinister slaying. This controversy laid the groundwork for the intense media spectacle that would later envelop the untimely deaths of other Hollywood icons, including the legendary Marilyn Monroe. The mystery surrounding Todd's fate not only captivated the public's imagination, but also set a precedent for the frenzied attention that tragic celebrity deaths would command in years to come. And let's dive into the layers of intrigue and speculation that continue to shroud the untold stories of Tinseltown's most mysterious figures. Thelma Alice Todd, hailing from Lawrence, Massachusetts, entered the world on July 29, 1906. Marked from the start as a bright spark and a force of determination, with her high school days behind her in 1923, Thelma embarked on a journey towards academia, joining the ranks at Lowell Normal College, a bastion for those aspiring to shape young minds. Yet destiny, with a nudge from her mother, steered her towards a path less traveled. Thelma found herself amidst the glamour of beauty pageants and the spotlight of acting contests. Her undeniable charm and stunning looks didn't just make waves. They set her on a course to triumph, emerging victorious as Miss Massachusetts, Thelma Todd carved her first indelible mark on the world, blending her intellect and beauty in a way that heralded the beginning of an unforgettable legacy. As Thelma Todd's star began to rise in the world of beauty pageants, her radiant presence didn't go unnoticed by the keen eyes of Hollywood elite scouts. Their recommendation would pivot her life in a direction far beyond her initial dreams. They saw her in the makings of a cinematic icon and urged her to join the ranks of Paramount School for Junior Stars, an esteemed academy under the Paramount Movie Studio. The possibility of life as a school teacher quickly faded into the background as Thelma embraced this new exhilarating chapter. Stepping into the hollowed halls of Paramount, Todd didn't just walk towards her next role. She embarked on the journey that would etch her name into the annals of film history, officially kickstarting her career in cinema. Starting her cinematic journey in the era of silent films, Thelma Todd quickly captivated audiences with a rare blend of comedic talent and undeniable beauty. As the film industry evolved, so did Todd, seamlessly transitioning into the world of talkies, where her knack for humor and vibrant screen presence continued to shine. Throughout her career, Todd's versatility and charm led her to roll in over 100 feature films and shorts, marking her as a prolific figure in Hollywood. The untimely end of her life was not just a personal tragedy, but a significant loss to the burgeoning film industry, which had been robbed of one of its brightest stars far too soon. Thelma Todd's legacy, marked by her extensive filmography and the impact of her performances, remains a testament to the star power she wielded in her all too short career. Beyond the silver screen, Thelma Todd ventured into the world of entrepreneurship with the establishment of her Malibu restaurant, Thelma Todd's Sidewalk Cafe. This chic and glamorous eatery quickly became a magnet for Hollywood's elite and tourists alike, drawn by the allure of its celebrity owner and the chance to rub shoulders with the stars. Thelma Todd's Sidewalk Cafe wasn't just a testament to her business acumen, it would also become a significant piece in the complex puzzle of her mysterious demise. The the cafe was synonymous with the glitz of Hollywood, found itself at the heart of the mystery surrounding Todd's untimely death, adding another layer to the intrigue of her fascinating story. 
On the morning of December 16th, 1935, a grim discovery was made that would forever alter Hollywood lore. Thelma Todd was found lifeless in her car, a scene of quiet tragedy uncovered by her longtime maid, May Whitehead, in the garage owned by Thelma Todd's business partner and sometimes romantic companion, Ronald West. May Whitehead, deeply shaken by the sight, recounted to detectives she was slumped in the front seat of her car, just bent over her head to the left. This haunting image of Todd, a vibrant star extinguished too soon, sent shockwaves through the entertainment community and ignited a mystery that was still endured for decades. May Whitehead's observations added a more sinister note to the scene. As she noted the presence of blood around Todd's nose, the initial determination of carbon monoxide poisoning as the cause of death did little to quell the swirling questions of the theories. The peculiar circumstances of the starlet's untimely end prompted authorities to dive into the complex web of Thelma Todd's personal and professional connections. Friends, family, and associates all found themselves under scrutiny. As investigators considered the possibility that someone within Todd's circle might have harbored a deadly motive. The intrigue surrounding her death was so compelling that the LA Times, the day following her discovery, reported on the myriad of reasons investigators were skeptical about the simplicity of her passing. This layer of mystery only deepened the intrigue surrounding Todd's death, painting a picture of a life entangled in potentially dangerous liaisons and secrets that might have led to her tragic demise. And the article in the LA Times read, The authors turned to probable reason for death by foul means. Within the past three months, two men have been arrested in New York in connection with extortion notes and telephone calls received by Miss Todd, demanding $10,000 under penalty of death. But there were no signs of violence at the scene of her death. Despite the dark cloud of extortion threats that loomed over the actress, the investigation into Thelma Todd's death was anything but straightforward. Both official investigators and armchair sleuths found themselves navigating a labyrinth of theories and leads. The central question that propelled their search through the complex maze was chilling and persistent. Who killed Thelma Todd? This question spurred a wide-ranging inquiry that stretched into every corner of Todd's life, from her personal relationships to her business dealings. The quest for answers unveiled a tapestry of potential motives and suspects, each avenue of investigation offering its own own set of clues and dead ends. As the mystery deepened, the intrigue surrounding Todd's demise only grew, making her story one of Hollywood's most enduring and haunting unsolved cases. Ronald West, a figure whose presence in Thelma Todd's life adds layers to complexity to the mystery of her death, was more than just a business partner, he was also a lover. Once a celebrated film director, West's career had seen better days, his early success in Hollywood fading into a quieter, less illustrious phase. Despite the glamorous clientele and the buzz surrounding Thelma Todd's sidewalk cafe, the venture struggled financially, failing to translate its social success into a profitable business. Business. The intricacies of Todd and West's relationship were further amplified by their living arrangements. They resided in the same duplex above the cafe, blurring the lines between their personal and professional lives. This close proximity, coupled with their intertwined business interests, casts a shadow of speculation over the nature and depth of their relationship. These factors combine to make West a person of interest in the saga of Todd's mysterious demise, complicating the narrative and feeling theories about the motivations and dynamics that might have led to tragedy. The plot thickens when the revelation that Jewel Carmen Roland West's estranged wife also resided above Thelma Todd's sidewalk cafe, adding another layer of intrigue to the already complex situation. Carmen was not just a passive figure in the background, she was actively involved in the business, holding co-ownership of the restaurant alongside her ex-husband and Thelma Todd. This 
intricate entanglement of personal and professional relationships in such close quarters set the stage for a tense atmosphere. Despite Carmen's outward acceptance of West's closeness to Todd, the financial difficulties faced by the restaurant strained relationships behind the scenes. Reports suggest that Carmen, feeling the pressure of the cafe's financial losses, directed her frustrations towards Todd, going as far as to issue threats. This escalation introduces a potential motive and deepens the mystery surrounding Todd's death, highlighting the volatile dynamics at play within the trio's intertwined lives. The presence of both love and business ties in such a charged environment paints a complex picture of the potential conflicts and entanglements that have contributed to the tragedy. Thelma Todd's life was entangled not only with complex personal and business relationships, but also with the dangerous underworld of organized crime, most notably through her tumultuous connection with the notorious mobster Lucky Luciano. Their relationship was fraught with violence and manipulation. Luciano was accused of physically attacking Todd and making her dependent on amphetamines, a claim that adds a dark and sinister layer to the already mysterious circumstances surrounding her life and death. The entanglement deepened when Luciano's ambitions to transform Thelma Todd's sidewalk cafe into a gambling den, a proposition that put him at odds with Todd's vision for her establishment. Witnesses recounted heated exchanges between the two, with Todd fiercely resisting Luciano's plans. Her defiant stance encapsulated in her vow that Luciano would take over her restaurant over my dead body was met with a chilling rejoinder from the monster. That can be arranged. This alleged exchange cast a grim shadow over the investigation into Todd's death, suggesting a motive rooted in power, control, and retaliation, and implicating Luciano in a narrative that intertwines Hollywood glamour with mob influence. And I definitely, it makes sense that it was probably Luciano, in my opinion. He probably did just want to take over, or maybe she owed money for drugs or something. Adding to the web of intrigue surrounding Thelma Todd's untimely demise, suspicions also fell on her ex-husband, Pat DiCicco. The aftermath of their divorce left him possibly feeling scorned and humiliated, leading some to speculate that he might have harbored a desire for retribution. This theory introduces a personal vendetta into the myriad of possible motives for Todd's death, suggesting that the bitterness of a failed marriage could have escalated into a lethal outcome. In an unexpected twist, even Todd's own mother found herself under a cloud of suspicion. As the sole heir to the Todd's estate, her motivations came into question especially in light of her plans to construct a lavish mansion without a clear means of financing such an extravagant project. This revelation raised eyebrows, prompting some to wonder whether financial gain could have been a driving force behind a maternal betrayal, or maybe the mom was in it with the gangsters, I don't know, quite the mystery. Despite the tangled thread of potential motives ranging from professional rivalries and criminal entanglements to personal vendettas and financial desperation, the official verdict cast a shadow of doubt on these theories. A grand jury's decision to rule Thelma Todd's death as taking her own life led many unanswered questions and unsolved theories. This ruling, while closing the case in the eyes of the law, did little to quell the speculation and debate that continued to swirl around the tragic end of a Hollywood luminary. The mystery of Thelma Todd's death remains a topic of fascination. It is true, I just really don't know. Despite the passage of time and the emergence of evidence that hints of foul play, the official verdict regarding Thelma Todd's death as taking her own life remains largely unchallengeable within the confines of legal proceedings. Then why did she have blood on her nose? Unless that's a symptom of carbon monoxide poisoning, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. The complexities of reopening a case decades old, coupled with the limitations of forensic technology from the era of Thelma Todd's death, mean that altering the official stance of her demise faces significant hurdles. While modern advancements in forensic science and investigative techniques could potentially shed new light on the circumstances surrounding Todd's death, the procedural and legal barriers to officially revisit the case, cause of death are substantial. I feel like it's just too long ago now to even find any more evidence in my opinion. I feel like it's a closed case. Doubt it'll ever be solved. There's just no forensic evidence and clearly if the mafia was involved they even paid off the police. So I feel like it's a closed case in my opinion.
mean, I mean, it's too bad that they don't have any answers and it's still a mystery to this day. I'm actually kind of scared of Hollywood. I don't know, even reading all these creepy stories that are coming up now, I just feel like there's so many weird things going on in the underbelly of Hollywood, especially old Hollywood. It was so corrupt. I don't know. And I, they just made it look like she took her own life, but I really don't think so. And the evidence which stood out against the backdrop of Hollywood's golden era, intrigue and drama added a critical layer to the narrative, suggesting foul play might have been at play in her death. Now, I definitely think she didn't took, take her own life. I definitely think there's foul play involved. The presence of this evidence invites a deeper examination to the circumstances surrounding her death. I mean, what do you think in the comments below? Do you think it was mob connections? Do you think it was her ex husband? Do you think it was her mom? Um, it's really, it's hard to say. I personally think it probably was the mob and it would make sense if they wanted to use it as a gambling den, then it would make sense that they wanted to take her out so that they could use the space or she probably owed the money. The grand jury's conclusion that Thelma Todd's death was self-inflicted left a glaring disconnect when confronted with the physical evidence of her injuries. Like I said already, the broken nose, the bruises around her throat, and the two cracked ribs. I mean, right away, obviously, someone attacked her and then made it look like a cover-up. These injuries suggest a level of violence that starkly contradicts the idea of self-inflicted demise due to carbon monoxide poisoning. The presence of such wounds paints a picture of physical altercation, pointing towards this scenario far more sinister than the one the grand jury proposed. And the dissonance between the ruling and the physical evidence casts a shadow of doubt over the thoroughness and accuracy of the investigation. The sarcastic remark that the grand jury seemed to believe that Todd had beaten herself to death highlights how absurd they are and how they really weren't taking the case seriously. I just think that everyone was paid off by the mob, in my opinion, because they just basically disregarded the whole case, which is really unfair to her. The mystery of Thelma Todd's untimely death is indeed emblematic of a Hollywood mystery complete with a cast of characters so vivid and complex that could be, have sprung from the pages of a film noir movie. These larger than life personalities ranging from mobsters to movie moguls to stars, scorned lovers, add layers of intrigues. I feel like why didn't they make a movie about this? There's so much glamour and scandal and mystery. As Time has marched on. Those who knew Thelma Todd personally, who might have offered insight into these lingering questions on the case, have all passed away. This passage of time has sealed away first-hand accounts, leaving historians, fans, and sleuths to piece together the story. And it just seems like there's a lot of weird unsolved cases during this time in Hollywood, even with like the Black Dahlia. Um, there's other cases too. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the Thelma Todd case and who you think did it in your opinion. And the enduring interest on the ice cream blonde and the circumstances of her demise underscores the lasting appeal of Hollywood's golden era of mysteries. And Thelma Todd's story is a true tragedy and it's very intriguing as well. I mean, it's just, there's so many layers to her death and it just sucks too because she was a star and I just, she doesn't seem like she would want to take her own life because she had so much going for her. So let me know in the comments below what you think and let me know if you have any other video requests, forgotten lives of other vintage true crime cases of old Hollywood or any old Hollywood movie stars. All right, I'll see you guys again soon and don't forget to check out some of my other videos.